Fairfax County now considering a plan to tackle two seemingly unrelated things. We're talking about homelessness and vacant office space in the county. The Board of Supervisors will look at zoning changes to convert unused space into possible homeless shelters. Our David Kaplan has this story tonight live from Tyson's. And David, uh, is everyone for this? Everyone on board? Jacqueline, not everybody is on board. We want to emphasize that off the top. We talked to one person off camera who said, quote, that he doesn't think it's a good idea. That said, there are a lot of people who appreciate and like the novelty of at least potentially trying something like this. Take a listen. I think it's an awesome idea because it's a lot of homeless people on the streets with nowhere to live and it's cold. Temperature drops at night, so it's good for them to have a home, especially during the holidays. For a suburban county, Fairfax County has a very large number of office spaces. They say the second highest in the country for a suburban county. We're here at the intersection of Westwood Center Drive. Want to just emphasize this point. I know it's a little dark. One four lease sign, two four lease signs, three four lease signs a fourth four lease sign just where we're standing right now. So it just sort of emphasizes the point that there are a lot of vacancies and the Board of Supervisors indicated it's trying to get creative to try and solve both of these issues. Now, in short, the county will consider zoning changes to make it easier to convert unused offices into potential shelters. Board of Supervisors Chair Jeff McKay says there's no crisis of homelessness in the county, but more resources are needed. And with the pandemic affecting office space usage, this could be a fit. Have to emphasize it is very early in this process, but McKay says this will be a very public process, one they know could cause some consternation in the community. At the end of the day, uh, this is a land use decision. It will be controversial, um, but we also have to think about as a community, uh, are we doing everything that we can to help people suffering from homelessness get to self-sufficiency? And this may be one more thing that we can consider. So McKay essentially saying that these zoning changes, potential changes would not be considered until next summer. So a little bit of time on this. And just to give you an idea of how this might potentially work, essentially the county acts as a middle person connecting nonprofits with office space owners, essentially trying to help formulate and form partnerships that would lead to the conversion potentially of office spaces into potential shelters. So certainly uh, an interesting concept they have here. One will certainly follow in the weeks and months ahead as Fairfax County debates this. Back to you.